Welcome to this video. Dimitri Thirds, okay. And what do we get? I want to try the, the real Lopez again. Just to get used to it a little bit. The bird. The bird. Hmm. Who should I play here? Maybe casting first? Maybe I should have played bishop c4 also because d5 was an option. Now it's not. And a4 maybe to avoid b5 if he plays something slow. Hmm. Hmm. I have also ideas like e5, b5, queen f3, rook is hanging, and pawn on f7 is attacked. But e5 looks a bit strange. Okay, now it doesn't work anyway. What about taking here this one? Check. If he plays g6, I have this check and the rook is gone. So after the check, he needs to go to e7. But then I have queen e5. I think this is winning. Yeah. Queen e5 after king e7. Then he needs to go to f7 and I have d5 and winning the rook. And, and here I also have queen d5 so this game is over king f7 the only move Here we go. So now I'm a rook and a pawn up against a bishop. This is this is very very nice. And the king cannot castle. It looks like he can because he's in the same square like at the beginning, but he had a nice trip just recently, so now it's not allowed to switch with this rook. Does he want to trap my queen? That wouldn't be nice, but I think this is not possible. So what do we do here? I want to develop. Let's bring out the pieces one by one. Bishop g5. Might be I play e5. How is there some way he can play bishop b7? I don't see it. Okay, he can play d6, queen d7, I would be bishop b7 doesn't work. Sorry for the noise, there's some someone outside. Mm, this is annoying. 
hope it's not too bad uh, to listen to. Okay, let's see. I want to develop. So let's play with bishop f4 and I white knight e5. Stuff like this. I bet he will play something like bishop c5 or something or bishop e7 and then he wants to castle. But this is not allowed. Um, maybe I can play a4. Or c3. Or even c4. Hmm. Okay, and now I guess it's castling time. Which doesn't work. And maybe he's trying uh, and is like uh, saying, well, what's going on here? Why doesn't it work? This I like to see very much because now there is no danger at all for my queen. I can always sacrifice back the rook here for pawn and bishop. And then I would be, I don't know, two pawns ahead and have a good position as well. So let's see, what can I do? Rook c4, maybe also threatening to take here, to take there. Hmm. Or I play knight d2, knight f3. I can play c3 maybe also. There is the king, okay. Now I have another idea. If bishop f6, I play e5, he takes, 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 and then queen d5 again, check. And he needs to play something like king to f6 to protect the piece. And there should be something for me then. Okay, should I take with the pawn or with the knight? I think d5 is such a nice place for the knight to be. So normally I would like to play b takes c3, that you have a nice pawn chain. Now this pawn is a little bit lonely here, but my knight is so well placed on c3 and then I did it on d5. Um, so I threatened to take on c7 now. And he can't play d6 because the knight on c6 is hanging. Yeah, looks excellent. By the way, bishop c7 is a real threat, so the queen would be would be lost. That's fun. Okay. Bishop d6. Hmm. Maybe I can play something like e5 later on also to bring over the rook somewhere to f4 or g4. This guy is doing nothing at f1, but my king is very protected, so. Maybe I, I leave the rook here on f1. Yeah, I think he needed to do this, but look at this now. The bishop, this is like the worst thing that could happen to, to black because um, this bishop cannot go out. Uh, maybe I 
even play f4, uh, b4, that he can't play a5. To free his, but um, he can't free it anyway, so. Then there might be knight b4. No, I don't do it. This rook might go over here. So what about f4? And hmm. I would like to be now to switch on the king side with my pieces with the with the queen, but it's not possible. He cannot ever move this bishop. Um. Mm hmm. Hmm. But my queen is it worse much more, so I need to get out with the queen somehow. You know what? Night before might be the way. Or rook c4, and I take here. But I, I think I like night before. Yes, true, this knight is very nice here, but I want to get out of the queen. If he goes to queen h4, I do nothing here. I just let it stay like it is. And, uh, knight b4 is coming. Huh. His only chance is maybe something like queen h4, rook e6, and rook h6 to attack here. But I'm afraid this is not enough because I just play h3 and there is no attack. Yeah. Huh. If I'm mistaken, I can maybe even play f5 just to avoid this. The queen can enter the game now with uh, queen d5 check later on. So I need to get out with the queen here. Hmm. If you play something like knight b7, I just play queen a7 and queen f2. He can play queen f6, but I don't care about the pawn on b2. I just take here. There is no check on d4, and even if. The only drawback of taking here is that he has a bishop. Uh, the open bishop then. Okay. What about queen d5 now? Needs to play queen e6, uh, knight e6, and then I have f5. So two times in the same game, the trick that queen d5 is winning a piece. That's nice.
I mean, he threatened to, to play uh, knight e2 and king h1 and knight g3 and then he has a perpetual. <coughs> but here, everything is falling apart. So now this bishop is uh, still locked here and I can just play f5. And I don't even need to take now. Um, now I think I have so much material that I don't care about freeing his bishop here. Although I don't need to. I just take here and then I take on d6. Looks better. And on a6 I can take with the knight later on anyway. Was queen c6 even a move? I just need to take care that I don't don't blunder anything. But now if you if, if you count the pieces, I'm a pawn up and a rook. So like six points and you can see this also here so this is a comparison of pieces black has a bishop and I have a rook knight and pawn Maybe I also just move over the rook to a1, but there's no trick here anywhere. Um, but I think uh, I just take on a6. Oh, maybe rook a5 this is a cruel move, but I can do this. Here he has a, a check, but otherwise than being a check, huh. I had a wonderful idea now. I had an idea to play queen c5 to protect the check. He could have taken here. That's really, really nice. This is how, how you can lose a game like this. Mm. What can I do? You know, I can also play, I'm, I'm six pawns ahead roughly. Knight d5, he takes, I take with check, he needs to take with the queen, and I take here. You know what, I just take, play this one. And then next move is queen f2. Just keep my pieces around my king now. This is the only chance he has like attacking me somewhere on my king but now this little like uh, glimmer of hope is also uh, history and well knight c6 knight e5 is maybe the best way because do i really want to uh, allow this bishop bishop to come out hmm. Okay, he has bishop b7, but... Hmm. Knight a6, queen b5. This is also something.
another way to lose is bishop b7 e5 and checkmate on on g2 <coughs> all right so now i'm threatening mate in two queen f7 check king h8 queen f8 takes takes checkmate so he just helped me to to bring my queen to a better place although i mean d4 was also a nice square Where do I want to go with my knight? I want it on the king side. So knight c6, rook a5 is also this is an idea I like. So if you play something like h6 or g6, I play knight c6 and then rook a5 and swing over. Isn't it mate? Alright, he resigned. Thanks for watching.